Hello everybody. Hi, I'm Jewel and welcome. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is understanding ectopic kidneys. This information is coming from the National Kidney Foundation. So let's get started. What is an ectopic kidney? An ectopic kidney is a kidney that is out of place. An ectopic kidney is caused by a birth defect. What causes an ectopic kidney? An ectopic kidney happens while a baby is growing in the womb. Normally the kidneys form a kidney bud within the pelvis, which is hip bones. When a signal is released from the kidney tissue, the kidney should move in their position behind the rib cage. In case of an ectopic kidney, one of the kidneys does not move to the right place. It may remain in the pelvis. It may move upward, but stop before it reaches its usual position. It may move higher than its normal position. A kidney may even cross over so that both kidneys are on the same side of the body. Sometimes it may even connect with the second kidney. So some of the causes from this birth defect are genetic defects. Genes carry information. A genetic defect is a problem within the genes when the baby is growing within the womb. It is passed from the parents to the child. It may cause tissues, issues with many organs and other processes in the body. Defects in the kidney tissue that would normally tell the kidneys to move into position, underdeveloped kidney, an infection illness or substance that disturb, disturbs the baby growth in the womb. It is usually something the mother is exposed to during pregnancy. Certain chemicals, drugs, or diseases can do this. Are there symptoms of an ectopic kidney? Most people do not have symptoms. The kidney may function normally, even though it is not in the right place. Most often, people only find out by accident that they have a, an ectopic kidney, usually when they are tested for other illnesses or health concerns. In some cases, an ectopic kidney can cause pain in the abdomen, which is the stomach area. It may also cause urinary problems. Most people live a full and normal life without ever really knowing they have an ectopic kidney. What are the complications of having an ectopic kidney? The most common complication involves the flow of urine. Your kidney, your urine comes from the kidneys and flows down into the bladder through tubes called ureters. In an ectopic kidney, the process may not work very well. The urine may back up in your kidneys. If it is serious enough, it causes a problem called vascuriterol reflex, which is VUR. When the flow of the urine becomes a problem, the following issues may occur. Urinary tract infection, which is UTI. Normally, urine washes out germs. This keeps them from growing. But if urine stays in the urinary tract too long, germs can grow and spread. That causes infections. Kidney stones. A kidney stone is a hard object that forms from chemicals in the urine. If urine stays too long in the urinary tract, these chemicals may have time to form stones. Kidney failure. The kidneys can get damaged from infections. If infections happen too often or are left untreated, it can lead to kidney failure. Hydrone norifis. I hope I pronounced that right. When the urine is blocked, it builds up in the kidney. This causes swelling. It is called hydronophoresis. UVR can cause hydronophoresis, which is um, swelling. What is the treatment for an ectopic kidney? An ectopic kidney only needs treatment if it causes problem with your urine flow. If this is the case, your healthcare provider will need to evaluate your kidney. If the problem is caught soon enough, your healthcare provider can treat it. This includes treating the infection, removing the blockage, or fixing the urine flow before kidney damage happens. Sometimes surgery may be needed. 
This can correct the position of the kidney that will lead to a better drainage of urine. If the kidney is severely damaged and not working properly, your healthcare provider may suggest removing it. This will only be done if your other kidney is working well. Okay, everyone, this is understanding ectopic kidneys, which I never knew what they were, didn't know what the word was. So I'm sharing with you what I found out and hopefully you found it useful. So if you do find it useful, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, always sending you lots of love and affection from myself and all CKD patients that have walked this road that you're walking right now. And all you have to do, of course, is stay compliant with your doctor's orders, be positive, be hopeful, and know that you are not alone in this journey. And all you have to do is just take care of yourselves and know, like I said, you are not alone. There are so many organizations working towards the better health of all CKD patients. So guys, the only thing you have to do, of course, is take care of yourselves. And I, I will see all of you on the next video. Bye.